Daisy here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I'm doing a Real Talk series video and this video is all about getting married. It's something that you guys know that I did. Um, the beginning of March I had a wedding in Las Vegas and I got married to my I'm going to almost call my high school sweetheart even though we didn't go to the same high school but we've known each other so long. I mean I've known him since I was a junior in high school and I am now like going to be 29 years old so I've known him a very long time and we've been together forever but I really want to do this video because a lot of people um, that get married just kind of like wonder oh what is it like to be married what is it like after you get married does anything really change like people say that it does and I just remember before I was getting married I had so many people asking me questions about getting married, how I felt about it, and things like that, and I just frankly um, thought it was, everybody's making such a big deal out of it, and I mean it is a big deal, but to me it wasn't as big of a deal as people were making it out to be, so I kind of want to talk a little more about that. This is coming from a girl's point of view, so I don't know how guys necessarily feel about it. I've asked my uh, husband, you know, what he thought before we got married, and you know, his answer is kind of similar to mine. So I just kind of want to talk to you a little bit about my viewpoint on marriage and kind of what it's like to really be married. So if you're a married couple, you probably already know some of the things that I'm going to talk about. As I told you guys, uh, we've been together for, it'll be 12 years this year. So we've been together a very, very long time. And we got engaged when I was 21 on my 21st birthday, actually. And so we were actually together uh, since, what, uh, I think our two-year anniversary, so I believe it was like 2004 when I got engaged, and we just got married this year, so it's been about 10 years that we were engaged, which is a pretty long time. That's a really long time, now that I think about it. Um, now, a lot of people are always like, oh, you know, why did you guys wait so long? Why did you guys, you know, wait like 10 years to get married even though you were together, blah, blah, blah. And the answer was kind of more, um, you know, we did have the money to get married. We didn't have the finances to really throw the type of wedding that we were wanting. And to be quite honest with you, I'm really glad that we didn't rush into getting married and that we didn't you know, get married like right after we got engaged and everything because frankly, um, you really learn a lot about a person uh, when you live with them, the longer that you're with them, and sometimes you never really get to know them at all. Sometimes they're always going to be kind of mysterious to you in a way and you just don't understand something that they do or how they feel about something. And that's just kind of the nature of the beast. Uh, when you're with somebody, you don't always really, really know them like you think you do. But for the most part, you know, I think the longer you're with somebody, the more you learn about them. And I'm really glad that we decided to wait as long as we did just because when I got married to him, I knew for a fact, I knew absolutely no doubt in my mind that this was the person that I wanted to be with my whole life. And I think it kind of was the same for him. Um, when we met, you know, he was still young and he, you know, wasn't really ready for that type of commitment. And the longer that we stayed together, the more we kind of learned about each other. And now it seems like, you know, we've become like the best of friends and not only the best friends, but also, you know, husband and wife now. And it's just like we know all about each other, you know, we, we're always there for each other, we've been through so much stuff, so the longer that we waited, the more it really made it kind of special for us, and we were absolutely positively sure. Now, getting married is not something you should take lightly, you shouldn't just get married to whoever just because you think it's in style, or popular, or your friends are doing it, or whatever kind of reason you may have. The only reason that you should have for getting married to somebody is because 
you absolutely want to. You're absolutely, positively, no doubt in your mind, sure that this is the person that you want to be with for the rest of your life. Because to me, I'm coming from a Catholic background, and to me, divorce is like non-existent. I don't really believe in it. I don't ever want to get a divorce. Now, if the situation came down to it where I had to, um, there was some, you know, kind of abusive relationship, um, you know, serious, serious issues came up, would I go through with it? Possibly. But I don't really believe in it. I don't really want to go there. I don't want to be in that situation. And that's also kind of another reason that I also waited as long as I did, just because I knew that that type of situation would never come up. And so, you know, that's kind of one of the main things I think about, um, you know, to me, marriage is a very important thing. And we both feel the same way. We don't believe in divorce. We don't want to get divorced. We want to be together. And so, blah, blah, blah. But I think a lot of people rush into getting married. I think a lot of people get married for the wrong reasons. They get married because of financial things. And I'm sorry, guys, if you guys hear, like, weed whackers in the background. It's because they are doing landscaping outside. And I just have the window open. It feels really good in here with the window open. But anyhow, getting around that. So that's kind of the reasons uh, a lot of people get married and they're the wrong reasons. Now, before I got married, I remember a lot of people, especially at work, older women, you know, being like, are you sure? Are you absolutely positive? Are you, you know, have you thought about this? You know, you really need to think it through. And, you know, so many things are going to change. You got to be absolutely positively sure. And, you know, when they were telling me all these things, I was just like, why do you guys keep telling me this stuff? I mean, I wouldn't be marrying him if I didn't know that I was completely positively sure, and I wouldn't have stayed with him this long if I wasn't sure that this is who I want to be with. I would have got gone because, you know, I've been in relationships in the past where if it wasn't working out and that person wanted to split, I was like, okay, see you later. Bye, I'll find somebody else. Uh, but this is different to me. Um, Bilal is, is very different. He is the person that I look forward to seeing every single day. And so, you know, I knew that I was positively sure. Um, so I would just kind of tell him, I'm like, you know, you guys are making such a big deal out of it. You know, it's not really that big of a deal. It's just, we're just getting married. It's like we've already been married. We've been together so long. And, you know, I knew a lot of other girls that were also getting married around that time. And they were like, total bridezillas, you know, totally, oh my god, my wedding's in a week, oh my god, my wedding's in two days, oh my god, my wedding's in a month, oh Jesus Christ, oh I've got to get my wedding dress, I've got to get this together, I've got to get this together, I'm so excited, I can't wait, and it was like every time I would like watch, um, you know, a video of theirs or read on Facebook, and you know, I didn't want to be that girl, so when I got married, I made sure that I wasn't constantly reminding people that I was getting married because it really gets old hearing it over and over again. I mean, I'm excited for people. I'm excited that they're getting married, and I want to share in their happiness, but it gets a little overwhelming when you talk about it constantly, so I didn't want to be that girl, and that's why you guys even didn't really hear a lot about it on my channel, just because I didn't really want to make a humongous deal out of it. Um, but when we went, you know, it was definitely probably one of the best times of my life. I enjoyed every single moment. We got married at the Little White Wedding Chapel in Las Vegas. It was great. And I just had such a really wonderful time. And I honestly was so in love with this person at that time and, and now and always. And it was a very special moment to me. But when I got back, everybody was, again, with the Inquisition. Oh, you know, so what's it like being married? What's it like being married? How is it? And I just didn't really know what to say. I was like, it's the same as it was before I got married. And even now when people ask me, oh, there's a married couple. How's married life? And we just kind of look at each other and we're like, the same as it was before we got married. We still argue about the same things. We still get on each other's nerves. Uh, we still have our moody days where we don't want to look at each other or whatever. You know, and everything that was there as long as we've been together is still going to be there. I think the only real difference is that we know that we're kind of bound together by a piece of paper, which is just a piece of paper. And that at times we have to do things legally together or we have to sign things legally together or whatever. But we're still our own person. And I think that is one of the most important things 
to always remember that the best advice that I could give to anybody that's getting married is to be your own person. Be you and they are them. And you are two different people. You're just bound together because you love each other and you're bound together because you're married to each other, but you're still two separate people. You don't have to like everything they like. You don't have to agree with everything they say. You don't have to have the same viewpoints on things or do every single thing together. Because that's why a lot of people get tired of being married to a certain person is because they are doing every single thing together. They are, you know, agreeing on everything. There's nothing new, nothing is exciting, and they feel like they haven't been themselves. They've become the us of the marriage, and they're not themselves. So to me, it's very important to maintain your life as you did before you were married, not like being, you know, like getting around or, you know, like bad things. I'm talking about like you know, being yourself, having your hobbies, having your likes and dislikes, and still, you know, not agreeing with every single thing that each other says because you're never going to do that. And if you are doing that just because you're a good little wife, then you're not really being a good wife because you're not, you know, giving that person your honesty. You're not giving them your honest opinion about things. And so for me, that is pretty much what sums up, um, after you get married. I mean, people ask me all the time, and that's really what it's like being married. It's just a piece of paper, and you're bound to each other, and you are now husband and wife, and, and it's sacred in front of God, but it's not like you have to be each other's clone, and you have to do everything together, and be like agreeing with everything each other says, because that's not really a good marriage. So, to me, that is the most important thing. And, you know, let me tell you guys, we've been together, like I said, it'll be 12 years this year, and I still honestly look forward every day to getting home to this man. I honestly look forward to going places with him, to going on trips with him. I look forward to being near him or just sitting in the room with him, just being there with him. It's not necessarily about doing everything together. It's just enjoying each other's company. And I think that really is what makes a successful marriage is if you have been together a very long time and you still feel the same way about each other that you did when you first got together, when you first fell in love with each other, when you first got married, that's important because that means that your love is true and it's going to stay no matter whether you argue, you fight, whatever good or bad things may come you're always going to love each other and feel the same way about each other. And if somebody doesn't feel the same way about somebody that they did a long time ago and they've done everything they can to fix it and it's just not happening, well then it may be time to move on. But honestly, I think if you feel the same way about each other, then it's just a sign that you really truly love each other. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have some requests on other Real Talk episode videos you would like to hear, please leave them below and I will make sure to do them. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.